When Sigma empaths stop loving a narcissist and refuse to be their slave, this is what happens. Welcome back to another video. As we embark on this fascinating journey into the world of narcissism, I want to express my deep thanks to all of you who have chosen to be here with us today. Your unwavering support, like the strong foundation of a building, is something we truly value in our community. The time you spend with us, watching our content, is like a precious gift that means a lot to us. As we embark on this journey, I want to extend a warm invitation for you to join our channel by subscribing. By doing so, you'll receive notifications that keep you in the loop with our latest content as it continues to evolve. Your subscription helps us build a stronger community of like-minded individuals, and we appreciate your support. Now, let's delve into today's topic, delving deeper into the vulnerabilities that often lie hidden within the intricate minds of individuals who exhibit narcissistic traits. In the realm of self-centeredness, understanding these vulnerabilities is akin to having a guiding beacon that can illuminate your path in challenging situations. It's crucial to bear in mind that even minor disagreements or refusals can be perceived as personal attacks by narcissistic individuals. We'll take a closer look at this aspect shortly, exploring the intricacies of these vulnerabilities and their impact on interactions and relationships. Narcissists use various tactics to grab attention, something they constantly seek. They enjoy the thrill of being pursued and find satisfaction in seeing others go to great lengths to meet their desires. Often, they play psychological games like taking their time to reply to messages. Their goal in these actions is to make you work harder to get their attention. To break this cycle and deflate their inflated sense of importance, it might be necessary to withhold your attention, even though it can be tough. By keeping these insights in mind and subscribing to our channel, you'll embark on a rewarding intellectual journey with us, delving deeper into the complexities of human behaviors and learning effective ways to handle them. We're excited to have you join us as we explore various aspects of human psychology and navigate the intriguing realm of relationships, emotions, and personal growth. Now, let's delve into the challenging scenario of dealing with a narcissist when they employ the silent treatment. When faced with this situation, you might naturally consider responding in a similar manner, such as blocking them or avoiding further interaction. Dealing with narcissists can indeed be emotionally draining, and sometimes, cutting ties completely may not be a feasible option. In such cases, it's valuable to explore alternative strategies to protect your emotional well-being and maintain your personal boundaries. In this video, we're focusing on the powerful strategy of ignoring a narcissist in certain situations. This approach sends a clear message that we can mirror their behavior and handle the consequences, whatever they may be. Narcissists, who are used to ignoring others, often struggle to deal with similar treatment when it's directed back at them. This tactic can help establish boundaries and promote healthier interactions with such individuals, ultimately benefiting your well-being and emotional balance. So let's delve deeper into this concept and explore its nuances to better equip ourselves for navigating these challenging dynamics. It's really important to understand that simply cutting off communication or blocking a narcissist doesn't magically make everything perfect and normal again. Unfortunately, making things ideal like that is not something that happens in real life. In the narcissist's strange way of thinking, they believe they deserve your constant attention, even if you purposely ignore them. When you show less interest in them and act like their behavior doesn't affect you, it makes them feel very upset and confused. Because of their strong anger, narcissists might want to get back at you because they feel embarrassed and insecure when you don't respond to them. They get frustrated because they always want people to admire and notice them, thinking they are super important. So, narcissists, caught up in their own strange ideas, can never really make you a priority in their lives. After they stop being charming, they quickly try to make themselves the most important thing in the world and might even try to bring you down to feel better about themselves. Ignoring a narcissist is a powerful way to loosen their hold on you. They really thrive on attention, even if it's not good attention, and they'd rather have that than be seen as unimportant. When you completely ignore them or act like they don't matter, it hurts their fragile egos deeply. Whether you choose to confront a narcissist or not is your decision to make but keeping quiet when they try to contact you sends a strong message. Your clear disinterest in having a meaningful conversation is obvious when you give very short responses, which really messes up their attempts to get your attention. Also, 
it's important to know that this tactic might lead to different outcomes because each narcissist is different. Some might eventually give up and move on, while others might try even harder to get your attention. So it's really important to be careful and prioritize your own well-being when dealing with people who show narcissistic traits. Your mental and emotional health is most important. Dealing with a narcissist can be like trying to find your way through a tricky maze, and there are a couple of important things to keep in mind when you're in this situation. Here's how it often plays out. 1. Ignoring the narcissist. When you decide to ignore a narcissist, they see it as a challenge to their control. This makes them use different tricks to try and get your attention. They might spread false stories about you, try to turn people against you, or take things that are important to you, all to bother you. They want to make sure all the attention is on them. Even when they see you genuinely happy without their interference, it can make them really mad because narcissists always want attention, and they'll go to great lengths to get even a small part of it. 2. Remembering the good times. Sometimes you might have good memories with a narcissist, but it's important not to let their manipulative actions drag you into a roller coaster of emotions. Those happy moments might have been part of their plan to win you over, and they'll always be focused on themselves. To protect yourself from their negative impact, it's important to stay calm and not let their behavior upset you even more. 3. Doing nothing sometimes helps. Occasionally, the best response to a narcissist is to do nothing at all. By not getting involved with them, you can prevent situations from getting worse. Don't let their words or actions hurt your feelings. Understanding their usual behaviors can give you the power to prepare for their tricks. This is a crucial step in freeing yourself from becoming a pawn in their complicated games. As we come to the end of this discussion, I want to invite all of you to share your own experiences and thoughts about dealing with narcissistic people. I hope the information has been helpful and enlightening. Please feel free to tell your stories and ideas in the comments below. I really appreciate your time and attention. Thank you.